Welcome back YouTube EDC Pride Group. What we have today is a little bit of knife maintenance. And we're going to go ahead and uh, look at the new Reiki Field Stripper from CRKT. Uh, and it's really, really stiff. So um, it fails. It needs... It needs some lube. <laughs> needs some help. So, first time using this, we'll go ahead and put try some KPL out. We'll strip that down and put some KPL on it and see if we can help that out a little bit. Also, we have the Kubi Ant Eater. And this is, it has some rust spots from me um, just, uh, putting in a medicine cabinet in my wall. I cut, cut through some of the drywall and, and, uh, just to get through there because of the, the tip on it. So it's got some rust spots on there, as you can see. And we're going to go ahead and try to take those off there. If you on the other side. So we're going to try some EDCI that I got from River's Edge Cutlery. I mean, there's, you can get it everywhere. So we got to shake this up. So, Everyday Corrosion Inhibitor Cleaner Protectant for Knives. Spray on, rub in, wipe off. Keep out of reach of children. Do not ingest if swallowed. Do not induce vomiting. Seek medical attention. Yada, 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 yada. Yeah. Okay. So we got to shake this up because there's some stuff down in the bottom from setting. So shake that up. And then if that doesn't do anything, if that that doesn't do it, we have the Flitz full, full polish stuff. So we'll break that out if, if uh, that doesn't do it. So let's go in and we'll start with... CRKT. Boy, it is stiff. Okay. That pops that. That rotates out of the way. It looks like oh yeah, there's a washer right there. Uh, is that a captured washer? Yeah. You know, it's a captured washer, so yeah, there's like no, it's like bone dry. There's like no, no oil whatsoever in there. So, um, knife pivot lube to the rescue. I hope. Never used this stuff before. been using non-petroleum based substances on my knives um, because I work on clocks and watches and I use that oil um, which is I got a thing of it right here brand new thing I just bought so I use this stuff for all my brass for clocks and watches and pocket watches uh, repairing those so I use that that type of oil um, for that stuff so we'll see what knife pivot lube uh, does so we'll just set just a little bit down next to the washer here. All right. So we have that. So we'll go ahead and put the blade back on. Move that around a little bit. 
All right, set that back in. Let me see. Let's do just a little drop on here. Right around the edge. That's probably way too much, but we'll just get it all in there and make sure. And uh, clip it down. Come over. Go down. And lock it in, hopefully. Or maybe. Yeah, lock it in. Still need some wrist. Starting to loosen up. There we go. A little bit of wrist. A little bit. Move that in there. Get that to go. A little bit better. You still got to give it some rest. Still got to give it rest. I mean, that, that is a chunky blade. I don't know. Give me a. No, there's not anywhere you can really. You can't really get into there. It's hard. You can do that. Slowly pull it out, but you gotta you gotta put some authority into deploying that blade. It is a pretty thick blade. Centering's good. Centering's good on it. So, we'll go ahead and set that down. Yeah, you got to give it some some rest. You got to give it rest. I don't think it needs any more knife pivot lube. It's dripping out of this, the side a little bit. Not too much, but it's not like it's getting all over my hands or anything. So... But that is that. Now, let's go ahead and see about this Kubi Anteater and see what I have to do to get that to fully do. We're going to try the Aegis. Aegis. We'll try that on this blade. Give it a second. It's very thin. It's not like your flitz cream or anything like that. It is very, very thin. All right. Let's let's see if this. Helps that. You know what? I don't think it is. It's not taking those rust spots off.
has not taken those rust spots off. Wonder how long you have to take that, let it set. But it's not taking those rust spots off. We'll try a little bit more on here. I said it's definitely coated that blade. There's a nice little pool of it on there. So we'll see. We'll see what's going on with it. That's all I'm going to do with that and see. This is what they call is like a blurple titanium. Pulling that pivot, pulling my stuff, my microfiber cloth. This has uh, abrasive pieces in it uh, almost like fiberglass um, this is for polishing uh, watch crystals so I get a bunch of these cloths then these are for these are high polish um, watch crystal so I figured that would definitely take the rust spots out with uh, with that so let's Try to get them slow circles and try to get this little patch out right here. And it's not coming off. Yeah, it's not coming off. So, we're going to get the flits out. Put some flits on it. And get these to come off. It is not coming off. It's lightening it up, but it's not coming off. So, we'll go ahead and try the flits and go from there. So, give me a second. Alright, we're back. So, we'll try the flits on this and see how it goes. All I did is just opened up the package and, and punctured the tip. So, we got just a little bit of flits on that thing. And we still got the rust spots. So, if you can see that. Still got the rust spots. So... I'm going to put a little bit of Flitz cream on here. Let's see if we can't get that to come off. Let those set for a few seconds. Ooh, that's got that's got a heavy smell to that flitz. Uh, the blade on this uh, Kubi Ant Eater is a uh, is S thirty five VN, so it's it's a it's a good steel. It's not your um, cheap steel. So we'll go ahead and let that set for a few seconds, just like I did with the EDCI stuff. Maybe that's just basically a rust inhibitor, so we'll we'll look into that a little bit more. Uh, let's see if we can't. See, I got a, I got a good globule on there, so we'll see if we can't get it to to come out. Let's 
get some elbow grease into this. Just like I was doing with the EDCI. Like I said, the flitz was on sale on um, that whole kit was on sale on Blade HQ um, for National Knife Day. It was $18.99. Originally $30 for the kit. So, look at that. This flitz really, I think, just took all those little rough spots off that blade and cleaned that up. I could be mistaken, but it looks like it is. And they weren't pitted or anything. It just rusted just from me doing stuff with it. So we'll come all the way back here and just shine up the blade a little bit. off there clean up that blade yeah it didn't it didn't take them off all the way either still still got a bit of spots on there cleaned up the majority of it but still looks like just a little bit deeper spots in there just need a little bit more elbow grease so we'll go ahead and do that and I'll show you the finished product after I get it taken care of with the flits all right I ended up trying to well, I ended up sharpening it a little bit, and I actually caught the tip and broke the tip off after I polished that all up. But I got a lot of the rough spots off of it, and like almost all the rough spots off of it. There's two little deep ones right down by the blade edge there. Um, so the flitz did a lot better than the EDCI, but I did end up breaking just the tip see it just the tip right there off of that knife so I have to reprofile it and get that to come down to a nice point rather than an abrupt edge right there um, but I can do that, that's not a problem. So we'll just go ahead and we'll uh, get that taken care of the rest of the day. And I'll take a picture of it and try to get it edited with this video. And go ahead and get this all taken care of. drying that blade up a little bit getting the excess stuff off of it and then we're going to go ahead and sharpen that choil out while well, I got this sharpened I almost put a mirror edge on that on that sweep right there um, so I almost got a mirror edge on that little little sweep right there and uh, Go ahead and clean this up and get that end taken out and get that sharpened up and, and looking nice. That'll be back in the EDC rotation. Like I said, I love this purple, this blue and purple 
anodized titanium milled backspacer on it. Really cool. So that's a Kubi ant eater. We'll try to get some things. It's not assisted, just a little bit of a flick of the wrist and it just goes. But it drops shots and everything else. So I don't I don't think this one is available, the titanium with the titanium beads and everything. Um, they had a limited run um, and everything of those. So go ahead and clean up my mat and I appreciate you. We'll go ahead and get this taken care of and let's see if this uh now it's still you gotta give this one a flick. It, it's a pretty heavy knife. It's a hefty one. That knife pivot lose helping it quite a bit, but it still it still needs a flick of the wrist, that's for sure. So Maybe I'll take that one apart and put a little bit more um, nice pivot lube on it and see how that does. Alright, I appreciate you. Thank you very much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Let me know what you don't like. Let me know what you like. And another camera angles, anything like that, we'll go ahead and, and do. And I'll get back to you. Sorry, my air conditioner is right behind you. I totally forgot about that. Um, running. So you might not be able to hear me that well.